dish as I suspected. They are running low on food, so I'm gonna bump them up. Still have some capped on this. Hi guys, it's the Black Bronze High Guy, and I'm back here again today. Today we'll be going into hive number one. Uh, I will be pulling out the Apovar strips that I put in there, I think it was 52, 53 days ago. Uh, I'll be pulling those out of the hive. I'll be doing a general inspection for uh, food stores. And if I feel like they need some food, I will go ahead and give them some food. Uh, also, I'll be doing just general, you know, pulling a couple frames. I won't be in there that very long and just making sure the overall health of the hive is still good. Uh, so without further ado, let's get straight to it. All right, guys, we're about to go in, do a quick inspection, pull some Apovar strips and give them some food. Here we go. I've already taken my top off. Let's just move this out the way. Brick off. are done. These were my April bar strips. Put that on the side. Dishes I suspected, they are running low on food, so I'm going to bump them up. Still have some capped on this side.
This one has lots of honey. Lots of nectar in this one. This flame, this frame split apart on me, but uh, I'll fix that next year when it warms up. All right, I think I've seen enough. I'm gonna go ahead and close it up. Are looking good. And close this up. Give them a little two to one. All right, I'll come back and I'll do my outtakes on Hive 1 at the end. All right, guys, I'm back. So the outtakes from Hive 1, um, I can tell the Hive is, is very healthy. Uh, they have food in there. I think what happened, what, what I need to do is, um, so I have brew frames, then I have honey frames, then I have empty frames, and then I have other honey frames. And they started putting their honey right next to their brew frame. I, I suspect it's because they want to insulate for winter. Uh, so this frame that's full of honey that's adjacent to the brew, I never set that honey frame there. They filled that out in the last month and a half or since I did my last inspection. So I'm thinking about, and I got to check with some folks, I'm thinking about taking that honey frame, picking it up and moving it out to the, the uh, outer edge of the other honey frames. Um, and let them fill out again with either more brood or more honey. Uh, I'm not sure if I should do that or leave it alone. I'll check with some folks and uh, get their recommendations. Uh, I gave them a little bit of food. I gave them some uh, two to one. Actually, it might be 2.5 to one. Uh, but I gave them some of that just in case they need it. Uh, I'll go out there uh, tomorrow this time. And if they don't look like they sucked it down, I'll pull it. That means they already have enough food in their hive. They don't need what I have. If I don't see any bees tending to it, uh, I'll pull it. Uh, I won't let it stay out there for longer than 24 or 48 hours before I go check again. 
Uh, other than that, everything looks good on Hive number one. Uh, that's my first time seeing everything since I think Thanksgiving. That's the first time me going back in there since Thanksgiving of 2012. So uh, it was good to see the girls and they were buzzing away uh, real gentle and everything was looking good. Uh, so without further ado, it's the Black Bonsai Guy. I'm out. I want to make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Um, share this video with your friends and family, those who may be interested in beekeeping. And again, I want to uh, shout out to all my BBs and BGs. If you're new to the channel, that's my Bonsai Boys and my Bonsai Girls. I'm out.